your timeline is jacked. But I'm gonna help you bring it back. What's good, Power Director peeps? Thanks for choosing this tutorial to get Learnalicious with Power Director. It's important to understand how to keep your timeline in order when you're editing videos. One change could knock your whole timeline out of whack and ruin your video. But these five tips will help you keep your crap under control. The first tip is to modify your transitions. If you don't want your transition to move everything when you add them to the timeline, just change them from overlap to cross. So let's go to the transition room. And we're gonna go ahead and drag this transition, hold it down with our left mouse, drag it down in between these two clips. When we let go, we see everything just ships over. Well, that's because this transition is set to overlap. Now you can modify it so that it's set to cross. So if you tap on modify and you tap on cross, you see that clip jumps back over. What I recommend that you do is go to your preferences and change the transition behavior to cross so that you don't ever have to worry about modifying it. So let's go ahead and hit back and we'll hit back to put everything back into place. And now if you go to preferences, you can go to editing and here where it says set default transition behavior, you want to change this to cross and then click on okay. And now if I add the same transition, nothing moves, everything stays the same. No more shifty transitions. A link to the full tutorial for these transition shifts is in the video description. The second tip is to group your clips together. If you want certain clips to always stay together, no matter what track they're on, this is the tip for you. First thing that you wanna do is select your clips. So you can hold down the control key on your keyboard and then click on the left mouse button to select the clips that you want. Or if you want to, you can just hold down your left mouse button and make a lasso and make it touch the clips that you want to select. Once you do that, you can just right click on the clips and then you want to choose group ungroup objects. Now, if you try to move any of these clips, if I hold down my left mouse and drag it, all of the clips will move together. So no matter what you do, these clips will always remain together. A link to the full tutorial for grouping clips is in the video description. Tip number three is ripple insert. Using ripple insert will allow you to move clips on a specific track, move clips on all tracks, or make all clips on all tracks remain in place. So to do this, you want to go ahead and drag any of these clips down to a position that you want. And let's say I just drag them to this split here and I let go, then I have some options here. If I choose overwrite, it'll overwrite that other clip and nothing will move. Now let's say I drag the same clip here and I choose insert. It's going to insert it and only the clip on that track is going to move over. But if I want to insert it and I want everything to stay in sync, if I move it to that same position and I choose insert and move all clips, then all the clips after this point are going to stay in sync and move over together. Inserting has never been so simple. Yes, the link to the full tutorial is in the video description. The fourth tip is ripple delete. Using ripple delete does the same thing as ripple insert, but in reverse. So if we were to right click on this clip and we choose remove and we choose remove and leave gap, nothing moves, but there's a gap where that clip used to be at. Now, if we go ahead and right click on this and we choose remove and we choose remove and fill gap, then it removes that clip and it just moves the things on that one track. And then last but not least, if we click on or we right click on this clip, and we go to remove and we choose remove fill gap and move all clips. It'll remove that and keep everything in sync by moving the whole timeline over from where that clip was removed. Ripple delete complete. Of course, the link to the full tutorial is in the video description. Tip number five is to lock your timeline tracks. When you want to stop any changes from happening to a certain track, 
All you have to do is lock that track and nothing you do can change it. So if we go here to track two over here on the left, we can go ahead and lock this track. And then if we go ahead and drag something, we can try to drag it to this clip. It won't even let us drag anything to this timeline track anymore. It stops us. But let's say we drag it here and we do insert and move all clips. It moved all the clips except track two. And if we right click on it and choose remove and move all clips, it'll move everything once again, except track two, because track two is locked down. And those are my five tips to stop jacking up your timeline. If you like what you see, I'll leave links to try Power Director for free and buy Power Director in the video description. Using those links helps to support the channel so I can make more content for you. I know you want more Power Director love, so be sure to click on these videos to watch more of my content and smash my cartoon face to subscribe. Don't forget to drop me a comment and a like down below.